photo by Ethan Miller Jetty Images for most NBA fans, the most exciting part of the upcoming season is thinking about which contenders will go heat to have once the playoffs finally arrive six months later. This is a star-driven league, and the NBA's brightest and most entertaining stars are often the ones leading their teams deep into the postseason to compete for championships. However, not every franchise's outlook can be that optimistic heading into a new season, and now that the Golden State Warriors seemingly have a vice grip on the rest of the basketball world, many are turning their attention to where it usually goes when a team is expected to be uncompetitive the youngsters. Because of the cyclical nature of the NBA's power structure and the way the draft lottery is set up, bad teams are usually presented with a light at the end of the tunnel in the form of a top draft pick. These players represent the chance for a franchise to draft the next big thing, the future superstar who will one day lead a currently crummy team back to the promised land. Because that future is usually a few years down the road, expectations for first-year players are often confined to the annual Rookie of the Year race. They won't reach their fullest potential in year one, but watching the rooks find their footing is always an intriguing part of any NBA season. Heading into the 201,718 NBA campaign, a crowded Rookie of the Year race takes center stage for plenty of fan bases that have already accepted the Warriors as their overlords. With such a deep and talented rookie crop, this year's possible Roy candidates may even extend beyond the following group. Here are the top 10 candidates for the 201,718 Rookie of the Year award. Honorable mentions Laurie Markkinen, Malik Monk, Jonathan Isaac. Frank Dillakina, Bam Adebayo, Jared Allen, Kyle Kuzma Page to use your arrows, to browse photo by Jesse D. Garbrandt and B. Via Getty Images This seems disrespectfully low for the number three pick of the draft, but before Boston Celtics fans start lighting their torches and sharpening their pitchforks, consider that general manager Danny Ainge said it himself Jason Tatum probably won't play enough to earn Rookie of the Year honors. Over the last 10 years, the only player to win Rookie of the Year, while playing fewer than 30 minutes per game was Malcolm Brogdon. Team success should be a factor in the voting, but Tatum is unlikely to find the minutes needed to put up big numbers when Gordon Hayward, Jalen Brown, Marcus Morris and Semi Ajulai are all viable options at the three. Tatum displayed the backlubber scoring that he's expected to possess during NBA Summer League, averaging 18.7 points, 9.7 rebounds, 2.3 steals and 2.0 assists per game on 46.8% shooting in Utah, and 17.7 points and 8.0 rebounds per game in Las Vegas to earn second team all Summer League honors. Tatum shouldn't be counted out of the running as a top three pick, but unless injuries call for it, his limited minutes on a top Eastern Conference contender will probably prevent him from putting up Roy numbers. Use your arrows to browse.